Hi guys! Welcome to another installment of Downfall, a prequel to the Cat Lady. <laughs> so I mentioned at one of the other streams that um, Lorelei is going to be coming out, I think, this spring. Possibly. Hopefully. I think this year, for sure. And uh, I was really, really excited in it because it's, it's, the, um, it's also by the same creators of um, the Cat Lady and Downfall. But I also heard, and I don't know if this is true, but I heard that uh, it's going to be the actual third and final installment of this being of this trilogy. So they are they are actually interconnected, um, and I thought that that was super super interesting, super super cool. So I'm going to be trying to like look out. I could have sworn there was somebody named Joe that we ran into um, in the last game, like the Cat Lady in the Cat Lady. So, anyways, I'm going to be giving uh, about a 10 minute little break, or not break, but uh, about 10 minutes for people to start gathering and enter here if they so wish. So, go ahead and settle in if you're already here. Uh, if you're on demand, go ahead and click forward about 10 minutes until the game starts. Or you can hang out and chat, uh, listen to me talk about uh, some some stuff that I was looking into as far as childhood trauma and what kinds of things would be associated there. Uh, so at first I looked up childhood eating disorders and I could not find a lot I couldn't find a lot like at all. I mean childhood I mean eating eating disorders into adolescence and then stuff about uh, but I was looking for uh, childhood trauma related eating disorders but I couldn't find any Hardly anything about eating disorders in children. Ark! Ark, you're here! Oh, you mentioned a couple days ago that um, your, like, your icon or your badge kept changing. That's because, you, uh, right, currently you're the bit leader. Caddis, <gasps> yo! Hey, hey, Caddis, how's it going? Good to see you. I'm doing a little bit, uh, I'm going over some of the research that I looked up right before this stream. Uh, to really get us going. Ark! <laughs> awesome, thank you, Ark. Uh, so I found out what bits are, yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm uh, very new to this whole Twitch realm, but I'm loving it so far. So anyway, uh, what I did find was like picky eaters and um, what is it? Picky eaters and uh, and something else led to like more eating disorders in adolescence and that's not what I was looking for but I did find that um, children exposed to trauma in their childhood were more likely to develop uh, bulimia nervosa or just bulimia instead of anorexia nervosa which is really interesting do you if you think about that like I mean, I want to say it's cool, but it's not cool. Hey, Hemi Morphite, what's up? It's, but it m totally makes sense because bulimia is like uh, an act of violence on yourself, almost. You know, um, with bulimia, you're 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 actually damaging your body. It's it's. I mean, maybe there's even psychologically a form of self punishment or. Um, like self-harming mentality behind the bulimia <clears throat> which makes a lot more sense than just abstain well not just but abstaining from food and uh anorexia nervosa the other thing that i found so far from looking up stuff about ivy's condition or why she's been acting so strange i i looked up uh instances for childhood trauma and um some of the more maybe I could call them extreme, some of the more extreme mental disorders that develop. Uh, so two of them I looked up were disassociation and schizophrenia. This was really interesting. What it did is it, um, they are correlated. They're for sure correlated. Let me find my spot in the abstract. That's all this, uh, I've, I've been looking at uh, scholarly articles, so they're legit, legit articles. Uh, the disassociative subgroup uh, disassociation is when you, okay, so identity disorder, multiple personality disorder or whatever, it's actually called disassociative identity disorder. And it's when you kind of phase out of yourself or your personality 
disassociating is like not being aware of your surroundings anymore it kind of maybe like it would be considered having a blackout and stuff happening and then like you kind of come back to yourself but while you were blacked out you were still acting and everything that would be a disassociation like <clears throat> like uh ivy had maybe if she doesn't remember herself saying those things about like demons and stuff so anyway it says uh the disassociative subgroup was characterized by a higher number of general psychiatric comorbidities comorbidities are co uh, coexisting diseases so you don't just have the one disease or disorder, you have multiple going on at the same time, which is very common among mental illnesses, mental disorders. Secondary features of disassociative identity disorder, Schneiderian symptoms, somatic complaints, extrasensory. Somatic complaints are uh, things you feel in your body, I think. Somatic complaints, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So things that you feel in the body, maybe like pain, and psychosomatic pain would be like it you feel the pain but it's actually coming from your own i don't know psyche it's the uh how people really shittily put it when they're talking about psychosomatic uh they usually say it's all in your head uh and extra sen extrasensory perceptions so basically hallucinations audio hallucinations visual hallucinations and by by the way guys who have just joined us we're waiting about 10 minutes to give everybody a chance to uh get get on here before we begin the game so i'm just going over some of the research that i that i was looking into about um how that really traumatic event of seeing the younger brother just absolutely de like just ugh, right in front of them how it would have effect on uh, on their adult mental health, and Ivy seems the one to be struggling the most right now. But so far, so far that's all we've seen. But who knows what's going inside Joe at this point? Okay, so back to the abstract. Um, a significant majority of the disassociative subgroup fit the diagnostic cr criteria of the uh, what is it? How do you pronounce that? DSM. I forgot what it stands for. DSM. It's the it's the guide that psychologists go through um, to diagnose people. <clears throat> oh my goodness, a significant majority of the disassociative subgroup fit the diagnostic criteria of the DSM-4 borderline personality disorder concurrently. That's amazing! That's amazing! Borderline personality disorder is something I was really interested in when I was taking psychology in college, and it's, it's not very well known. Um, Maybe I can get into it later if I remember. Uh, but it's actually super, super interesting. Conclusion. A trauma-related disassociative subtype of schizophrenia is supported. Childhood trauma is related to concurrent disassociative um, disassociation among patients with schizophrenic disorder. A duality model based on the interaction of two qualitatively distinct psychopathologies and a dimensional approach are proposed as possible explanations for the complex relationship between these two psychopathologies and childhood trauma. So, not, nothing surprising there. I was really, I was really expecting to find higher rates of psychosis, schizophrenia, disassociation in children who went through, you know, some pretty serious shit and were traumatized by it. All right, has it been 10 minutes? It's been nine minutes, guys. Hurry up and grab yourself a delicious vanilla Coke. Zero. Gotta keep that sugar away. No, don't do that, actually, because I just read an article today saying that uh, diet soda is, like, linked to um, early, uh, early, early death and uh, stroke and heart attack in mostly women over the age of 50 if they drink them daily. Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not sponsored. I just really love vanilla Coke, but now I now I gotta figure out what to drink instead of super sugary Coke and um, heart uh, heart failure inducing diet Coke or Coke Zero. Okay, it's still not 10 minutes. Well, we're going to get the game going, because it's going to take a second. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and by the way, I'm also drinking a Bankster Berry. Mm, bang, fuel your destiny with Bankster Berry Bang. Also not sponsored. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay, I remembered this. I was I was searching for articles related to childhood eating disorders, and uh, the very the first way that I phrased it was uh, I just typed in child eating disorders, like you know for children, as in a child with an eating disorder, and you can imagine that some stuff that I didn't expect, glad I didn't do it on stream, came up for child eating disorders. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I laughed. Okay, downfall. Yeah, it's gonna do that. Hold on. Hang tight. Interpreter. Come on, fix yourself. Fix yourself! That's enough of that. I don't want to see that. It was loud. By the way, I turned up the game volume a little bit, so tell me if you can hear the, um, the voices better. I do need to tab out. Hopefully it's not going to crash the game, but it probably will, and then we'll have to go through that whole shebang again. Because I didn't start moving around my screens properly. I really need three monitors. Hold on. Hang tight. Hang with me. Alright, so that's there. This needs to go here. <clears throat> that's what I... That's what I get. I, I need to come up with like a smoother process for... Um, oops. This goes this side. This goes this side. A smoother process for transferring screens. But like I said, I'm super, super new to this. Okay, that's there, that's there, that's all I need. Ready, set, don't crash on me! Can I skip this? I wanna skip this. Skip. Who do we got here? Okay, we have Ark, we've got Cadus, we've got Hemimorphite. Sin! It's Sin! Hey, Sin! Oh my god, you're so reliable. You're just like a golden retriever that follows its child to the bus every day and greets them at the bus stop on the way home. You're just as reliable as something that's really reliable. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Self -de uh, what is it? Self-deprecating -de joke. <coughs> Okay, so we're gonna load in. No, that it's gonna see you soon. Uh, da da da. Wait, this is not where I saved it. Yes, this is where I saved it. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm getting flashbacks of like the cat lady. This is gonna be amazing. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. You know what it's missing though from the cat lady? There's no hint of color in this. And in the cat lady, we saw like the golden sunlight of like a, a warm setting sun against <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> oh man against like these warm fields of wheat shit i guess we're about to find up a little find out a little bit what's going on inside joe's brain oh shit this startles me guys i don't like startles i don't like when startles look scared Loud noises are jump scares to me. Oh shit, is it recreating the uh, the apartment building that he lived in? When he was a kid? Son of a bitch! Alright! What? Is that just zoomed in more? Helen Road, okay. Guess we're going inside. 12 Helen Road, this is where we live. Live? Okay, so is this where he lives with Ivy? said live not lived sin uh sin says uh haha and lucky too i had to work this morning and just got in from shoveling the driveway fun fact the opening part of the cat lady inspired a scene in my book that's amazing that's so cool sin tell the tell the chat the name of your book again i'm gonna plug you uh 
Also, you missed the very beginning part. We were going over some scholarly articles about, uh, about uh, like childhood trauma leading to psychosis and disassociating, disassociation, disassociative identity disorder, and uh, schizophrenia. It's very interesting. <clears throat> A communal mailbox, Joe and Ivy Davis, flat four. Looks like there's something inside. All right, so we're going to get a brief look at what their marriage was like prior to going on this little sh full shitty vacation. It's locked, but maybe I could just force it open? Damn it, my fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. Well, let's take a look around. Notice board. Yeah, let's take a tack. I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back? <coughs> I don't get it. Flowers. Smell. No. Even if I had time for this, they're all wilted anyway. Did I miss anything back here? Okay. He was a... Ark says, in quotes, he was an abusive husband, but he beats me because he loves me. <laughs> that sounds intrusive. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, he said, hey, it's not done yet, but if it ever gets published, the title will likely be The Light in the Invading Darkness. Nice. I thought you already pu published one book. You already had published the one book, right, Finn? Ah, uh, I'd have loved to see all that. Too bad I missed it. Oh, well, that's, that's what VODs are for, right? Okay. <coughs> Sorry. I get caught up reading the chat, because I just love hearing your guys' comments. What's going on with you? It's a door to the basement. Nobody goes down there anymore. <coughs> so is this... Oh, this is where, that's, he, sa he said this is where we live, so this is their, his parents' apartment, right? So am I, am I putting this back together? Am I putting this together correctly? He and Ivy got married, they moved back in with his parents, so he is in his childhood home, but he's also married with Ivy, so he is an adult. Oh, Ark, you were the one that published the book. Oh, sorry. Oh, my gosh. You guys are like the two that are like always here, too. Should have remembered that. Ark, Ark, what's the name of your published book? It's a door to the basement. Nobody goes down there anymore. Well, let's go anyway. I bet there's lots of happy things. It's locked. Well, can I force it? No. Okay. Isn't that the hotel where the cat lady lives? So far, it doesn't look like it. We'd have to go a little bit higher up, I think. Locker! Locker. 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 Looks like it's been moved recently. Uh, is that it? Okay. I bet it's very conveniently placed for our needs. Well, what's in it? Examine. What? Okay. This looks like one of my books. What is it doing here? Hey, hey! He's a writer, guys! That's right! Guys... Ark's book is called Celestic Hearts. So go check it out. Take a, take a look. Because I'm going to, for sure. This looks like one of my books. What's it doing here? Joe is a writer. Oh, did he just... He just grabbed it? Is that it? Let's... How do I... Yeah! Okay. Wait. Does that say Stephen King? Oh, I smell... Oh, one of... Okay, not one of... The, books that he wrote but most of the books I own are written by Stephen King what can I say I'm a fan I'm a fan a screwdriver inside a book how odd yeah that's a bit strange I better take it with me Caddis actually says that uh, they love editing well more power to you because I absolutely hate it <laughs> Damn it, my fingers are too big. If only I kept right. Take the letter. Okay. Let's look at it. Letter. Examine. It's from Frank Zellman. 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 Zellman? 
Guys, do we know the name Zelman? Do we know the name Zelman? Zelman sounds like it was from the cat lady. Do I know him? The name seems strangely familiar. Yeah, me too. There's a ten pound note and and key inside. Weird, why would anyone send me this? Okay. Now let's use the key on the door. Oh shit, he's gonna say it's locked. God damn it. I wish it would just use the item. What does it make me? Rusty key. Whoever sent me this key must be trying to help me. Oh. Oh, okay, sorry, Ark. I didn't mean to. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. It won't work. The furnace has been broken for years. Nothing happened. And then what is this? Furnace? Wait, what was what was that? Light switch? Yeah, okay. Furnace. Examine. Rusty old furnace and yeah, it's broken. Furnace! Oh, uh, is anyone else getting flashbacks to like that first shed that you find of Susan? And it's like, oh look, insert arm here. Now examine it. No? Nope. Close? Yeah, let's keep you closed. I don't like the idea of leaving you open and some kind of demonic alien monster is gonna <laughs> climb out of there. Cat clock! I want to see it. Our cat Lucifer would have loved this toy clock. Where is it? I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, that! Hey! Susan had that one! Susan had that clock, didn't it? Didn't she? We're taking it. She's gonna go with us. Okay. So we took everything that's in this room, right? We're gonna take this. I want. We need to examine it. Yeah. Whoever buys this sort of stuff, a cat seems to love it, though. The cat. The cat. Lucifer? No, not here. Lucifer. That's the black cat that he was talking about. That he ended up saying he buried it in the backyard, and Ivy will never know. Who's there? There's stuff. There's stuff hey, on the furnace. Who are you? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Side of the screen. Side of the screen. Very, very side of the screen. Hold on. I definitely need to drink some more energy drink. <laughs> she said sarcastically. Shit. Get my get my cat clock out. Use. <laughs> Damn it. Something bloody with a blade sticking out, maybe? Shit, man. Why are they making me walk all the way up to it? Fuck. I can't get any closer. Ah! Oh, it's myself! Ah, uh, go, 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 go! Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. So that was himself. I thought I also noticed something different about the uh, the furnace door. Some uh. Sin says, someone's baby could wander into an open furnace. Sweet home reference. And the cat lady, the dude's name is spelled Zelman. So you're right to say it's familiar. I swear, this place looks like the flat where Susan lived. I don't know. Hmm. Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. That's not good. We need to it's find her. Time. Okay, so that was all a bad nightmare. You can use mirrors to jump through time. It's, it's very old mirror. Okay. I guess this isn't Bandersnatch. This is all wrong. I've always slept on my left side. I've always slept... Ivy always slept on my li left side. Jesus. Anything else? I will be examining each and everything I come across. For anybody who survived watching me this long, uh, you probably already know that I take games very slowly and I will be looking at everything. Single bed, not... No, that's not all right. We've been together for nearly 10 years. That's a long time for two people to be so close. So, from his perspective, they're very close. Interesting. No, not now. Let's go find. Let's go find her. Him. Her. Her. Uh, let's check this out. Nothing still? Another very strange... 
So apparently we're not supposed to disturb the woman in this room. <laughs> we're not supposed to disturb her, but how about we rattle that doorknob every time we pass it? <laughs> okay, so now we already looked at that. Any anything new in here? Is she in here? Please don't be in here. This place is creepy as hell. Uh, it's still raining. Whoa! There's a bot, uh, sculptured body on the floor, on, at the base of the uh, mirror. Do you guys should see that? Like when it when it the lightning flickers, you'll you'll see it light up. It looks pretty clearly like super angular and stuff. So. Okay, so at least she's not in here. Sin says, oh, while I'm remembering, has anyone heard of a mobile game called Florence? It's really more of a story about a young man's, a young woman's passage into adulthood. Uh, lost my place. I don't know if it's available here, but the story is all told without dialogue, with simple puzzles thrown in. I was like, if this were available in the West, I feel like Rose might enjoy it at least once. Yeah, that sounds really cool! Cellar door? Enter? Still can't enter. Okay. Picture! A rough end. There's some repeated elephant um, imagery around here. We have like a yeah, like this full-blown elephant's head, which is horrifying, to be honest. Yes, somebody in the comments, oh my god, please forgive me that I forgot your name. Somebody in the comments reminded me that this is Teacup, Susan's cat. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. She'll never know what you really did with it? Is that what you're implying? Yes, I'm pretty sure that's what it's implying. Oh, it reads Teacup, the, the key master. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's totally a reference. Uh, shit, should we go? Uh-oh, let's go back in the room where she had that psychotic break. Oh, oh. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Ah. Oh. Did you sleep well? Okay, ag what? Jesus. This is so weird. I like the music, I'm just listening to it. Um, anyways, this reminds me to of the gate that was um, covered in severed animal heads in the Cat Lady when she was in her dream and she approached that gate and it had like, di like, um, Decapitated goat and pig heads all over it. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Yes. Is this good delivery? <gasps> Mr. Davis, such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. I don't like you. Uh, I am worried about my wife, but. But the immediate. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's just a dining room. Breakfast service, as usual. You know, all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a show. And yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. If they, they can't sometimes never leave. If they never leave, they never leave. <laughs> they can't sometimes never leave. Okay, let's talk about where's my wife. Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. What? Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note, a letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere, but I don't think she wants you to look for her. Don't tell Jen? me what to do. Who is that Sophie? 
Her room is just behind your wall. 102. Is it I told you it's not good to disturb her. Oh, now shit. that she's awake, she will never leave. I was just thinking that, Sin. Like, I was thinking, what kind of a what kind of a phrase is that? Getting on like a house on fire, like. Mm. Who are you? Is she's even half as mad as you? My wife's not safe with that, Sophie. I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. Yeah, crazy. And I thought we were friends, Joe. Uh, I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. No, You'll feel all these so. worries fade away in no time at all. I don't trust anything you'd serve me. I don't care about breakfast. Well, that's not good. They say it's the most important meal of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I yeah. was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Too late? You... Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I still have the inventory. I still have the inventory items from uh, the dream. Why would anyone send me money? Jesus Christmas. Oh boy. <gasps> it's the black cat. It's the black cat, guys. The one that the one that liked us the first time and and didn't like us the second. Oh. Little bastard. Follow him! Catch that cat! That is the raggiest, raggediest looking cat. Can I run? No. Wait, can I? There's appears not to be a run. Whoa! This is not the right order of rooms. That's a different sign and it's ridiculous. It's horsemen. Get get over here! We didn't go we didn't go back up the stairs. Which way now? Oh, look at the mirrors. Look at the mirrors above the, the doors. Let's see what they are. Wah! Wah! This one. Because I because I can see a girl, somebody with green eyes behind this door. And Ivy has green eyes. I wonder if he's still a cat killer if it likes him in the opening. <gasps> no, don't say that! Oh shit, what? What? Nothing happened? Did I go through into... Okay, I need to find the one with the green eyes to find... It might be the far right. To find Ivy. Okay, what? What is this? That one's like a sun? What is this one on the far left? Can't go through that one. Oh, I can't go through any of them. I'm stupid. Why am I even looking at them? What the? F what the bollocks? What? What the hell? Did I go? Whoa! Okay. Is one supposed to be me? No. I was thinking maybe one of them's me and one of them's. Ivy because of the green eye. One has green eyes, one has brown eyes, but the other one has brown blue, blue eye. She's in here, isn't she? Ah. Uh, reality is breaking down. Shit, come on. I feel like I'm being watched. Yeah, like, I thought I did everything exactly the same. Okay, this has changed. We got a little bit of little bit of happy blood pouring down the walls now. Got a little COVID, COVID to the case. Looks like there's a block of hot or furniture. Okay. What? Oh, you have to leave and come back if you choose the wrong door, I assume. 
Is that a that's a happy horse? Jesus. Okay. So, and then this is a I have no idea what that black smear is supposed to be. Let's do let's go through this one. Yeah, which way now? Oh. Yeah, this one. This one. This one. It's box. Yeah. There. Oh, thank you for reminding me, guys. Remind me to how to save. Oh my god, it's like torture and screaming, but only electronified. What's it covered in? Grime? Blood? Grimy blood? I can't see anything. You know, I see like a fence at the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. Hey, it's me! Oh my god, I'm in c I'm controlling him! I'm controlling the guy in the TV. Neat. That's really neat. I don't like the camera being so laggedy behind me. I like it to like carry on a bit in front of me, actually, if I'm honest. There's a cold draft coming through. Let's go through the door, I guess. Oh, there's the cat! I'll get you, my pretty! There's that, uh, black bird. I've seen that around. Door? Okay, what's beyond the door? I keep go I keep going through, like, the first thing that I come across. Okay, well, that's the only thing. That's why. Examine. Home sweet home. Oh! This is- Okay, this is the building from our dreams. So are we dreaming again, or what? Extremely trippy. This is pried open. Light just how we left it. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe we'll ignore that cellar for now. Brick wall, examine. Great, the staircase has been blocked by this wall. Oh man. It's gonna make me go down, isn't it? It's gonna be open still, huh? Yes. I think he's gonna... There you are. This is different. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I hope he's not talking about this is the end finding of the room, you sneaky son of a bitch. Oh no, I feel horrified. I hope we're not gonna try to corral that um, that cat in there. I hope that's not what's meant to happen. Like, like, catch it. Right, is that what we're supposed to... Uh, maybe I could use it as a trap. If only I could catch this damn cat. <sighs> I knew it! I knew it. As soon as I saw that I could interact with the furnace and the cat was in here, I knew he was going to put it in the furnace. So this actually happened, I bet. I bet this is uh, the cat Lucifer. Could just... How do I... What the hell? Oh! Oh. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. Why not here? Oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. This is what he really did, guys. This is what he really did. Oh shit, well no, I don't think I had an option to put it on the couch. Oh my fucking god! Oh shit, I just saw the, oh fuck, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. See a more fight. Jesus Christ, we're a monster. Oh god, no. What the fuck, I didn't even think to try to put it on the couch. I don't think it was able to anyway, because you can't interact with it. Shit. 
Get past him. Get past him. That's what he really did with it, probably. I can see charred remains of the cat. I I didn't mean to do this. The furnace was supposed to be the furnace was supposed to be broken. Ouch, it's too hot. Uh let's try this. I don't know why I tried I've that. Got it. <laughs> okay, you just drag it towards you, I suppose. Look at this. That's pretty. Q102. We're no longer we're no we're no longer operating in um reality now, guys. I feel like I saw that coming from pretty far away. But it's still it's still seriously oh. I thought this was like a loading screen or something. It's not. It was still super messed up, like... He's acting as though this happened in the past, but there's elements of the present time in it. What? How did I...? <laughs> so, Joe seems pretty messed up himself. Joe's got some serious shit going on. Okay, so we need to go up to room 102, I assume. Oops, didn't mean to do it. Nope, nope, stairs. Go up. Okay. Oh man, I just realized I've eaten hard I haven't eaten hardly anything today. So let's go see what is so scary about this lady in room 102. They said don't disturb her, and now that we have, she probably will never leave. And she has Ivy, so Oh no, it's not gonna let me. I have to kind of physically use the key. I'm interested to see this lady. It's Sophie's room. Enter. <gasps> Shit. Oh, blah, 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 blah. That's okay. This is what I love to see. This is amazing. This is amazing. Are these all broken mirrors? And she's got a mask on her face? So this is something about her, and, like, she's surrounded by mirrors, but then she's either she has or someone else has broken all of them because she doesn't want to see her face. She's wearing a mask because she doesn't want to see her face. And now there's like iron rod fencing all over the place too. Iron rod fencing. So usually I mean the first thing I think of when you have uh, iron like iron fencing like this is fencing is meant to keep people out or to keep people in. But primarily to keep people out. So, is this symbolism just for wanting to be reclusive? She's a, she's got she's got wraps all up her arms, guys. She's got ra uh, like bandages all up her arms and like a red smiley face or a red half moon on her forehead. Well, it's a girl, so she's young. Why is she wearing a mask? And there's no mouth opening, so. Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. Is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? So somebody it wasn't that hard now, was it? Damn. There's something wrong going there's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. What is this place? Why all the mirrors? Or where's my wife? Um Let's ask for where's my wife, and then I want to know. I want to know what. What is this place? Why all the mirrors and <laughs> gates? <laughs> this is the madness, Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. There's something wrong going on here. You will tell me what it is. Where's my wife? You didn't answer my question. Where are we? Uh, if she's gonna play games like this, let's just find out where my wife is. She, I, I don't know if it's even important to like multiple endings or whatever, but 
It feels like we need to keep our priorities in order. Where's my wife? Oh, she's dangerous. She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away so you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. I'm thinking that this room is a reflection of... Uh, reflection of, like, problems with self-image and the way they see themselves. So people with really, really poor self-image are more likely to engage in self-destructive behaviors like uh, cutting and uh, self-mutilation, uh, self-punishment. Maybe that going back to like the bulimia nervosa we talked about in that study. Because look at all these mirrors that she hates. She smashes them. She doesn't want to see her face. She's got bandages up her arms. There's a few things that we can probably draw from this room alone. Um, you didn't answer my question. Where are we? Did you say monster? Um... I don't know how he's going to deliver this line, so I'm not going to go with it. He might be like, oh shit, she's got a monster inside her? I'm out of here. You didn't answer my question. Where are we? Body I dysmorphia, thanks, Sin. You You're a genius. Are, Joe. Body dysmorphia, self-image. Why did you break all these mirrors? Let's just say your lovely wife can put up quite a fight. But it was not enough. There's some, yeah, yeah, possibly a distorted, a sense of distorted self-image is in there too, possibly. There's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. There's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. Oh, there's plenty wrong here, Joe. I don't know where to start, and I'm not sure if you're ready for it yet. Uh, I guess all we can Did say is Did you this. say... a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. Which it's one? It's been... lurking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening... It grows stronger. Then, then there is no going back. You fall and keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Interesting. Go on, see it for yourself. All right. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested. Any. Will, will it change no matter which mirror I look at? Do I have any choices? I guess just this one. So is he talking about a, a monster? In, I thought she was talking about a monster inside Ivy, but maybe she's talking about one a monster inside all of us, uh, inside of both of us. It's cracked, just like all other mirrors in here. What are we gonna see? Is it the Axe Man? Balls are pouring blood. 606? What's 606? No, 666. What the hell? What is that? What is that? for yourself. What Isn't the? she a pretty, pretty girl? <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, 
You can achieve the impossible. Hold on. I remembered to save. I'll do anything to save Ivy. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. She's then I'll wife. tell you what to do. This woman it's is like very simple, the queen of maggots. Really. You just have to kill me. I don't believe you. Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. I can't I can do this without your help. What do you mean you're a memory? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. What do you mean you're a memory? That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. Oh, glad you're not. But not me. Uh-huh. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one that's still not broken. But how do I know if you're telling the truth? Yeah. Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. I'd already told you. This is the madness, Joe. Yeah, this this little girl's coming off as like very similar to the Queen of Maggots. So even this, I can do this without your help, sounds almost exactly like something that Susan was saying when the Queen of Maggots told her uh, that she needed to kill. This is so messed up. Um, I can't just kill you. What do you think, guys? Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Uh, how, how should I kill you? She is right. We are clearly not... We're not functioning within reality anymore. So, if there was... If crazy shit wasn't going around all over us, I would definitely say, I can't just kill you, but there's something deeply unreal about this place, and so the rules of rea our reality that we know aren't necessarily coming into play here. I can do this without your help? See, when we did this, when we made this decision with Susan, we ended up having to do it anyway. Let's offer some resistance. I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> but you killed the cat, didn't you? How do you even know about the cat? I didn't kill that cat. It was that creep with an axe. What? How do you even know about the cat? I see a lot of things in these mirrors, you know. Terrible, ugly things. And I know you can kill me, too. Sorry. Uh, I can do this without your help. I swear I didn't kill that cat on purpose. I swear I didn't kill the cat on purpose. An accident? Interesting. But never mind. What happened happened, Joe. Why should you explain yourself to me? Yeah, like that furnace lit up with no nothing. <laughs> Our uh, shit. Can we? We're gonna try to do this without her help. I can do this without your help. Joe, you never listen. It's time to open your eyes. See? Look at this. This is so messed up. It's very simple. Kill four memories. But me first. Jesus. This is... Is she gonna say something different? It's... <sighs> kill... But me first. Well, Ark, there's no other choice, buddy. How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? It's not what I would have expected. Just give me something. I want to go to sleep. 
and never wake up again. It won't hurt that way. I... I don't. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down Dr. Z? All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. What was the psychiatrist's no name in? I what? am that one Kevin. good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. <laughs> and that's why I have to die first. Aw, poor thing. I'll think about it. Oh, I know you will. Um, I mean, you can just tell from her atmosphere that she's in a lot of pain. And just her uh, posture on the chair. I'm. I wonder if the uh, the doctor Z is um, the doctor from the psychiatrist from Susan's psychiatric ward. Can we just? Where is she? They said that she's she's near a mirror that's not broken. Ah! What happened? Hey, it's very old. That wasn't like that. This was hers. Ivy's bed. It's all. Jeez. Oh! Letter! Good job, me. Oh, Zellman! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank Zellman. It's from Ivy. Part of the letter has been torn off. Let's read it. Achievement! I miss you. You know. Damn it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. We were good together. Always there. When I was falling. And bad felt better. Every time. With you. Uh, hold on, what? Hold on, I gotta fix this. Can't be having my chats. Oh shit, well the game crashed. Should have saved it before I did that. Uh, yeah, but it was showing like my chat log up on the screen, so I'm not sure why it would do that. <laughs> Alright, let's restart it. I have to admit, I wasn't terribly paying attention to that, so it's I'm okay with having to go back and rewatch it, but... Since as was the sky colorizing, I don't know. English. I just wanted to get rid of that, like, scar there. There we go. There we go. It's gone. Jesus. This uh, game doesn't run. Okay, so what was more recent? Ah, oh, that was before we talked to her! Autosave, is that right? I think this is right after we... Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, perfect! Look at that! We, I get to see the cutscene again. Sweet. Enter. Okay, let's listen to this. I don't know, she was saying something about, like, um... Like you were always there for me or something. What time is it? 5.30? I miss you. You know. We were good together. Always there. When I was falling. And bad felt better. Every time. With you. That's really sad. Um. Oh, I don't keep it? Oh, that's 
Yes. Okay, well let's find out where that phone is ringing. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about that letter. So I think she has had some stuff going on, you know, inside her all this time. That's my belief. Like like she's always been going through a lot. So, so far we know that um, her parents split up somehow, you know, that moved from, moves from Sweden. The dad stayed and uh, the mom, the mom was really encouraging the daughter to have like poor body image, uh, saying, make sure you stay skinny, make sure you stay skinny. And she had really, really brainwashed her as a little girl to to say that to believe that and even make her own choices to support you know an eating disorder at a very young age um, I think she felt very unloved I think she felt very hey there's that there's that duck the black duck top right corner oh boy I mean, if the mom was totally okay with either telling either telling Ivy to stay outside the restaurant while she ate, which is just super cruel. Uh, let's just uh, let's just slowly make our way up. There's someone in the house, Ark. Ark, what are you talking about? Where? Or okay. Well, now it's... Can I go back in here? What happens now? Why is she wearing a mask? Talk to... Can I say anything else to her? Oh no. Don't think too long. No, whatever. I'll kill you if I want to. Not before. Oh, wait, 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 go check out the mirror. We gotta check out the mirror because last time we were at the mirror, there was like this, this really big girl, lady? I don't know, young or not, but in the front, and that was like his monster or something. Ah! I can't even read that, but I am going to take a screenshot. Okay, let's see. No, nothing new here. Yeah, nothing new. Well, I mean, the thing in the hallway was new. That is, like, criminally dirty, that piano. That should be a crime going... A piano going into so much disrepair damage. Listen, I'll punch the ghost lady too. These hands rated E for everybody! <laughs> Ark! Jumping at my own shadow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that all the time, constantly. Ghost lady. Okay. Level f two? Two. Yeah, level two. Going up. Ding! Is this a mirror behind us? Like a foggy mirror? I think it's meant to be, but we don't have a reflection. Look, it's reflecting the light and the controls, but we don't have a reflection. Ah, uh, deep. Oh shit, you. Fancy meeting you here, Joe. You fancy. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. Then again, it always rains here. Mm. Get lost. I have no time for small talk. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. None of this is real. I need her to Uh not going anywhere until I save my wife. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. Oh yes. The lovely Ivy. Or rather, the ungrateful bitch always busy fucking your life up. You what? know nothing about Ivy. Still searching for her, are we? Well go on then. I'll wait. 
Just let me know when you've had enough. Shut up. Then you can have me. Uh, no, thank you. Any way you want. I don't want you. Leave me alone. I don't want you. Leave me alone. Stop biting it. You and Ivy are done. She doesn't want you. It's time to move on. It's not for you to decide. Fine. Get on with your wild goose chase. There's no rush. But come find me in my office later. You'll see what a naughty girl I am. Jesus, this lady's psychopath. Um, she's clearly not real. Um, she, she maybe she's like a projection of things in Joe's mind. Anyway, I'm gonna take a um. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is so Silent Hill too. I'm halfway to just saying Joe killed Ivy and this girl is Joe's Maria. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take like a, I'm gonna take my, my like five-ish or maybe possibly ten minute break because I haven't eaten in hours and hours. So um, hang tight. And I'll be back and we'll probably go for another hour after this if that's okay. But I need to stand up and I need to get some food. What the fuck happened? What? What? Oh, fuck. What did I do? What did I do? Oh my god. How do I Holy shit. Did I just load through my past ones accidentally? Like somehow by pressing a key and then save over all of them? <sighs> Food. Food. Break. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bring up, I can't bring up any kind of title, like, I can't bring up any kind of menu or anything. What? Did the game freeze now? I think it did. Shit fuck. me don't tell me that I've ruined everything don't tell me don't tell me don't tell me Fuck. come on control all right we're gonna task manage you your task is gonna be managed so hard give it give it this computer isn't running so great on my computer or er, this <laughs> This game is not running so great on my computer. And my task manager is hidden. I can't get anything to come up. Alright, I'll do with this. I'll do with this after I get something to eat. A little bit of a break.
check, 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 check. Don't crash. Cool. All right, cool. Guys, I am back. Sorry it took me a minute. I heated up myself some frozen burritos. Sweetness. And just fork these little guys into little small bite-sized noms. Yeah. It's gonna let it cool for a while. I can just take little bitty bites as stuff is happening. It's because thank God this is a voice game. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like, um, okay, so it looks like I accidentally quick saved over all my previous, over quick, over slots one, three, and four. Inadvertently, uh, quick saves are evil, so. <laughs> We're not going to use them anymore. Yeah, they're delicious. This one is like beef, bean, and green chili sauce. It's awesome. And then my boyfriend made some pot stickers, which I think he made way too many for himself. Don't you think so, chat? Because then he'd have some to give me pot stickers. Okay. Uh, this is this is not far, right? So this autosave that we have is not far. So this has got to be load. There you go. Oh shit, looks like his eyes got gouged out. Shit, see that? Look. Look. Oh man, when he was looking forward. He was, when he was looking forward. Okay, we're gonna speed through whatever we, we had to do a second ago. Wait, 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 wait. We didn't see this. I don't know if it triggers anything. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but we need to see this. The devil came through here. That is supremely like horror element. I love it. I love those kinds of horror elements. It's not blatantly scary. It's not a thing that jumps at you. It's just oh God, for fuck's sake. When, it, when am I at the stick? Okay, there we go. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. So arc. Right, right, right. Oh shit. I can't scroll up. I can't scroll up. Uh, oh, I hope I don't crash it. But if I do, oh well. All right. So, uh, Oh, we have to see the letter again. Does it look okay? So we have to see the letter again. We, uh, the quote-unquote Maria is gonna uh, have to come on to us again. And then uh, during my break, Ark, uh, Ark said, "For those of you who actually are going to look at my book called Celestial Hearts, it's about a 12-year-old boy being hunted by a cult that seems to believe he stole something from them. It all starts with this imaginary friend that looks identical to him, yet doesn't sound like him at all, and seems all to." and seems all too real to be all in his head. There is magic and a few plot twists, as well as a running theme that people may really enjoy. Yay! Okay. Hopefully this won't crash now. Give it a moment. All right. Ah, shit, you said, um... All right, we gotta see the letter again, I guess. I usually don't eat such shit food, honestly. Like frozen burritos or frozen anything, really. Like hardly, hardly ever. I try to eat cleaner food. All right, let's use this lift. It'll be faster. First floor. It's not like I won't eat crappy food occasionally like burgers or I don't know uh, Taco Bell right I don't know I, I try to avoid like super processed foods so so to cook. I don't like to eat canned soup because it's super processed I don't like eating uh, frozen food because it's just crap but I needed something All right, for the third time. Here we go. This time we're failing. I now let's look at the you. sky. You know the sky. It's we were good together. It was bluish, or I'm it is bluish. There when I was falling, and bad felt better every time. With you. Yeah, the sky was actually had some blue hues in it. 
Yum. Hey, these are good. Holy shit. Now watch, when he's facing the camera, he's got black eye sockets. Somebody gouge him out. Alright, second floor. Let's talk to this little bitch. I'm thinking that this lady is pl is like the devil's advocate of uh, Joe's psyche. So when he said like always, always Fancy fucking his you here, life Joe. up or whatever, I thought you'd be long gone by now. Maybe that's like a voice oh, in his head he tries to suppress. Weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then again. All right, get lost. I have no time for small talk. Small talk. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. Oh yes. Or rather, the ungrateful bitch always busy fucking your life up. You know nothing about Ivy. Still searching for her eye. Well, go on. Just let me... Then... And... Uh... I don't want you. Piss off. Leave me alone. Stop biting him. You and Ivy... It's time... It's not... It's fine. Get... No. But come fuck... Fuck off, lady. You'll see. Ugh. Insufferable. Corridor! <gasps> red, 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 red scarf! Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you see that, that picture? Shit. Let's say it's locked. Dang. Tons of eyes, tons of, like, multiple noses and several mouths. Interesting. Any art lovers want to make some comments on what you think about that that painting? Feel free to. I would be immensely interested. Hmm. Do you guys still feel like this is the uh, this is the? Ho Wait, no, 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 no. Never mind. You you were talking about something else. This is the other place. It's a vending machine that sells packs of cigarettes. There we go. Plunk. Now something's gonna come out, right? Shake. I don't. I don't think he smokes, but. Um. Whoa! 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 Okay, painted with a similar theme. This is tons, if you can see like the detail on this painting, it starts out with tons of mouths. Um, I can't tell what's around the edges at the top. Then a ton of noses overlapping each other, then a ton of mouths again, and then just a mess of hands all pointing downward. Art majors, help us out here. Enlighten us. Jesus, what a creepy ass picture. Whoa. Huh? Unimportant, can't do anything to it. There. Oop. Glass bowl! Looks like a terrarium for a spider. Don't say that! It doesn't have to be for a, sp for a spider. You could keep a pet tarantula in it. Not that I ever would. I hate spiders. Yeah. Hmm, no. I feel I feel like it's time for something really disturbing. Pull the lever? Tempting. Let's not pull the lever just yet. Chair. Examine. What? The fuck? Oh my god! Dr. Z! Dr. Z! Is this an electric chair? There's some cables running from the chair further into the room. What the uh, Hi. What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. What's going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on, and I'm not impressed. Uh... I don't think that this is a, a sanitary facility. What bad thing? To be performing any don't kind tell of medical you didn't treatment. Notice. The whispering from the walls. Jesus. Those shadows in the corner of my eye, they move when I look at them, but they're there, all right. 
watching. You're crazy. No, 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 no. It's this place that is crazy. I'm only trying to fix it. Hmm. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Uh... Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? Um... I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. <laughs> a live brain surgery. Jesus. Jesus, man. What the... Now this, this here, is called a Lazarus <laughs> sign. <laughs> Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. You have to... Hey, you have to click a couple times? For what? Oh my god, these pots are good. So, it's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save her. <laughs> what? You said she's dead. It's too late. It is never too late. Who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. Huh. I think her name is... Ivy. Agnes. Oh, Ag Agnes. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. Oh, my God. This guy is crazy. Who are you, really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. Downfall. Zing. You, uh, you can't... Can you save me? You can't save everyone? You're full of shit. Uh, I'm not gonna ask him to save me. Holy hell. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, so... Arcavius says that uh, Amazon makes it a little bit complicated to check out his book called uh, Celestial Hearts. Uh, they It, like, thinks that you mean Celtic heart, which is not what you mean. He said, search up Arcavius Celestic... C Celestic... Cel Cel yeah, 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 yeah. Search up Arcavius Celestic. Cel oh, shit. Oh, it's not c Celestic Hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arcavius Celestic Hearts. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not Celestial. It's Celestic Hearts. And it came up. I hope people will use that to search for it. Okay. C E L E S T I C. Celestic Hearts. Arcavius. You can't save everyone. You can't save everyone. I believe I can, but I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something from the cellar. I'll give you the key. Bring what? You'll know when you see it. I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? I'm not a dog. Fetch it yourself. Uh, he's covered in blood. You pr probably don't want him touching things. Covered in all that uh, hazardous material. Don't worry about it, Ark. It's cool. It's cool, man. Um, I mean, I'm just sitting over here eating pot stickers, and this sauce is amazing. So, anyway, fine. I'll go to uh, the cellar. Yeah, fine, fine. I'll go to the cellar. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go quickly. Here's the key. I'll get everything ready. <laughs> Um, so people from people who who recently played or watched the cat lady do we know an Agnes there let's pull the lever 
I'm not sure what it does. I'll let her leave it alone for now. Examine. Is this an electric chair? There's some sort of blah, 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 blah. Uh, please save. Yep, save. Slot one saving. Okay. Sit. Sit in, an, sit in the old Sparky? That's a terrible idea. <laughs> I was definite. I was gonna try. Oh, boy. We already tried this, didn't we? Okay. Did any of the... Did any of the paintings change? Room 204. Wait. Locked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locked. Okay. Let's double check ourselves, guys. This is kind of, sort of a puzzle adventure game, but so. Uh... Hark! A thousand bits! Oh my goodness! Thank you! It's like it's my birthday! I got these for you earlier, but I wanted to wait for someone to try and beat my bits total first. I want the number one for a while. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I have a lot of deep respect for creative writers. I love creative writers. I think that their brains work in a very wonderful and magical way. Room 201. Shit, did I just come from this? Not paying attention. See? Goddamn ADD rears its ugly head. Did I go down this corridor? Yes, 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 yes. Did I go down this corridor? I don't think I did. Locked? No, I did not go down this corridor. Is this the same? No, this is different. It's pouring outside. I hope it rains more tomorrow down here where I'm at. Uh, about an hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half. Uh, south of LA. I I'm so not... We went in! Oh. This is just the crazy doctor man. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you can just basically get to it from two different... Uh, from two different hallways? Okay, I'm sure somebody will point it out if I'm missing anything. Okay, what did he say to do? Oh shit, what did he say to do? Go to the cellar, cellar, cellar. Ground floor. Um, maybe we get to the cellar through the kitchen because I have not. That's the only other, I mean, there's the blocked, uh, there's the uh, blocked staircase and then there's the kitchen that we have not been able to access. Any changes to the pictures, to the portraitures, to the artistic, artisticness? It's still locked, okay. Well, the cellar. Okay. No cellar here. Or what? What could he mean by the cellar? Uh, okay, let's ignore him for now. Let's go up to room three. When Ad is trying to influence you, but Adderall. <laughs> when ADD is trying to influence you, but Adderall has your back. <laughs> nice. I actually ha I take nothing for my ADD. Um, I've seen doctors about it, and they just they've never offered. Like they basically are just like, oh yeah. Uh, 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 one doctor actually let me um, uh, use like the disabled student services when I was in college because I have a serious problem concentrating, especially when it comes to learning new things. I don't learn fast. So, I mean, he wrote me a thing to help me there so that I can get like audio of uh, my textbooks and that helped a lot. Private party tonight, invitations only. It's dark inside because the party hasn't started yet. Oh, this guy's got like a, a, a spade on his chest. But I mean, I've never had a doctor offer to like help with anything. And I mean, that kind of sucks and I didn't want to ask, you know, cause then he might think like, oh, well you're just, you're just a drug seeker or something, so. Examine. Painting of a lady wearing a hat. I feel like her eyes have been following me around this room. Have they? Oh, 
No, they're not. They're not. Wouldn't that have been an awesome little detail to include? Uh, can't wrap my brain to, my brain around this map layout. Not an X or a triangle, though. Oh, it's a big circle. Square. Whatever. Uh, I used to take Adderall for my ADHD, but my insurance ran out. I'm pretty okay without it, but concentration is so high. Oh, what was I supposed to do with this? Look closer. Look closer! Huh. Why is this necessary? Interesting. Can't examine that one any closer. This place is graffitied on like crazy. Ah! Okay! That looks like a solitary confinement door, that does. And it's splattered with a little bit of healthy blood! Yeah, dude. Okay, oh, uh, uh, fuck's sake. These look like they were all killed in different ways. I'm gonna say suicide in different ways. So the one closest to the door cut her wrist in the bath. Uh, the one up against the wall to the right of her, death by whatever this syringe did to her. This next one, shotgun to the head. This one, possibly, like, stove emissions. What do you, what do you call that? Like, you can uh, get, die by carbon monoxide, right? Or gas, some kind of gas. And this one, that's kind of alive. Oh, man. But remember, oh, shit. All right, let's examine them one by one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There's five of them. Keep that in mind in case it becomes significant. She slashed her wrist in a bath. What a nasty way to die. I mean, I can think of nastier, I guess? Normally I'd steer, steer clear of dirty needles, but today's not a normal day. Oh, for poison? Take? Uh, <laughs> gross! No! That's terrible. There is like a little cut or something on this, this woman's lower abdomen that I feel like is gonna be is gonna be useful later. Okay. Body, Jesus. It's pretty obvious she she's blown her head off with a shotgun. Oh god guys, you know why? They're this these are all talking about Ivy. Remember she had that uh she had that uh, eating disorder. She was terribly afraid of getting fat. And then I think this is talking about like her depression and she's having suicidal thoughts. And like it's not the same color as her hair, but I think the reason why these are pointedly overweight large women is because it's referring to Ivy's eating disorder and how she perceives herself, maybe. Fuck's sake, we're gonna take the shotgun. These stiff, dead fingers will never loosen their grip on the gun. Ah, oh, time to pull out my hefty bone saw that I carry around with me. Yep, this woman. Yeah. What's a damn cooker doing in the bathroom? Nothing happens. The gas supply has probably been turned off. Hmm. Alright, what about this. Cr Sophie? This must be one of the four incarnations of Sophie. Looks half dead already. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my wife? Yeah. Yeah, how the hell did this happen to this one with the... She's also wearing a mask on her face. I don't know if she... You can't tell in the other bodies around the room, but this one is wearing a mask over her eyes. But how did she get gutted like that? 
I mean, that does not look self-inflicted. We'll see about that. You disgust me. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Let's bluff. I'm <laughs> not scared of you. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Strangle her or leave her? Holy shit. <laughs> Sid! Sid says, I definitely know the shotgun lady isn't wearing a mask. Well, you're, you're right about that. Oh, fuck, man. Um, I don't know what to do. We need to kill... Um, we need to kill him. And she's evil. And she's... Holy fuck. Hey, we should get a cat. What?! And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. That's Ivy talking. No, not like this. I'll find another way. Okay. Must be one of the four incarnations. Looks half dead. Turn knobs. What? This is crazy. Anyway, at least we have a syringe with us. And uh, we might be able to take this shotgun at some point. I feel like I may have gotten a little bit ahead of the game though, because since we found the next incarnation. It's locked still. Uh, the party hasn't started. Okay. What if the gutting is a form of self harm symbolism? Like the belief that if she thinks she is fat, so she's forcing herself to starve, then she's eating herself inside out or forced vomiting. Yeah. Or, I mean, the gutting is a form of self-harm. Literally, the gutting is a, force, is a form of self-harm. Like, we gotta cut all this fat away, I guess. Guys, what do you think about this, uh... What do you call it? Uh, the cellar that he's talking about. Because the first Sophie would have been the masked girl in the mirror room, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. That was, that was the second. Um... Should I keep going forward or should I look for the look for a cellar? I feel like that's where I was supposed to go. The elevator buttons form a very special shape. Wait. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, Ark. Okay. Uh What do you think about this cellar idea? I haven't seen any Can I use anything that I have? See no indications. What am I supposed to do with this bowl? You know what? Let's go up. <sighs> All right, we're gonna go up more <clears throat> until we figure out what to do, what the next key is. I thought it was to go to a cellar, but. Because that's what the crazy... But then again, Joe said, no, we're not doing it this way. What? Who's just here? Okay, right, right, wrong one. Sorry. Apologies. He said, no, not like this. We're not doing this. We're doing this another way. Good on you, Joe. Good on you. Sin says, I thought there was just a door on the ground floor that led to the cellar unless it's just like ah! every time you try to go to the fourth floor? Yeah, see, Sin, um, unless it's just dream logic weirdness and the cellar's on the top floor or something. See, this kitchen, this kitchen door is what I kept thinking might be the next place to go, but... So, are we supposed to take the syringe to the first, uh, the first Sophie memory? I can't tell if that's going to be required or if it's optional. Alright, let's look at what we have. 10 pound note, a bowl for a spider or a tarantula, a cellar key. What? The cellar, the cellar was in our 
apartment, our house. Did he give me a key? I'm pretty sure I've had this key. Oh, I, I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Where was there a cellar? There was a cellar in our dream when we were back at home, right? And we were back home when we dreamed. Ah, fuck. Ah, it was a solid theory. Man. All right, can we do anything with this? Have we seen any creatures of any kind? I got, it's got a needle on it. I need to be careful. But I assume there's nothing in it. I'm going to recheck everything out and see if uh, if I think there's anything that we can use our our items on. Because at this point, I don't think we're going to be triggering any more events. Okay. Hmm. Let me know if you see, if you think you can see anything to use our items with. even gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use the needle on Sophie as a very last result if I literally can't come up with anything didn't the doctor give you a key maybe there was something else nope don't do that key well, these are all locked right is this different now? Maybe not. I thought I thought there wasn't a ribbon hanging down from the ceiling before. Oh jeez. Camera angles. 206. This is his room, right? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. 206. 205 is locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 204. It's locked. Okay, just double checking everything. Ah! Of course, ten pound note. Use. No, no, no! The pack got stuck. Come what? out, you damn thing! It ate my Come money. Come out! Nothing. If only I had another tenor. What? Nothing. If only I had another tenner. Okay, I guess I need to find another one. They are ten pounds a pack. I should put the money in the slot and press the button. Okay. Wait, what's the exam say right now? Yeah, and there... What do you say? My pack is still stuck inside. Okay. So we need more money. And then this is his. Isn't that correct? Yes! So we're making progress, I guess. Pull the lever! Pull the lever! Crumb. I'm not sure what it does. I'll better leave it alone for now. You're not sure what it does? You're not sure what it does? I think Can you hear that? Up. It's the ticking of the clock. And right. it's getting louder! Yes! I understand! Whoa. Whoa. Are you guys seeing this? The um, uh, It looks like uh, x-rays. X-rays are being flashed across the screen. Or superimposed or whatever. I need to talk to you. Is there anything over here? I need to talk to you. Can I use the syringe on him? Here, have a syringe. <sighs> Fuck. Damn it, I can't sit, sit, sit. Ooh, those are all teeth. That's teeth. 
Hmm. Alright, and we found the spider thing. Spider tank in here. So we're gonna go full circle. Okay, and then right locked. Yeah, we did this, I think. Okay, so that's the only thing for us on this floor. Wonderful. <sighs> Third floor. And then we're gonna try fourth floor again. Teeth, a rib cage, something. Uh, oh, teeth, a rib cage. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw. Uh, one of them was a heart. One of them was. Uh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right, 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 right. We gotta do something about. here okay whatever we need to do is on this floor I think as long as it's not inject the f and use the syringe on what's her face Path of okay let's try to put some water in the bowl hmm no he doesn't want to put blood water in the in the bowl use the syringe on her There's... Take shotgun. Never loosen the grip on the gun. No, nothing there. Bowl, keys, The cooker. Turn the knobs again? Or knobs? Nothing happens. The gas supply has probably been turned off. Jesus. Ah, uh, I don't know what I can do in here. Can't do anything with the syringe. Help chat. Where was that cellar door? I'm sure I saw it. Yeah, but it was in his dream. It was... It was in his dream. <sighs> Maybe we can put one of her organs in this bowl? <laughs> okay, that'd be super dark. Wait, let's, let's take another consideration of this. Painting of a lady wearing a hat. I feel like her eyes have been following me around this room. What are we supposed to notice about this? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> cellar. All right, I want to try level four one more time. I'm prepared for it this time, so I won't scream into your ears. Yeah. Hey, Captain, thank you. I love this. Okay, cellar. Cellar. Cellar would logically be on the bottom effing floor. Telephone. Fucking call somebody. Cellar. 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 Painting. Painting. Stairs. Ah! This door right here? This door right here. It's this door. Guys, I don't understand. Hey, when did you get a sub button? Actually, just a few days ago. Huzzah! Oh, I was super thrilled. Like, I became an affiliate in like a month. It was super sweet. Okay, painting, painting, painting. Alright, you know... I need your guys' help. I need your... I need your help. I need your help. 
Wait. Fucking hell! Ugh. Of course, because I've been using the elevator. Fuck's sake. Alright, we need to make some. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Uh, You'll know it when you see it, he says. What is... I don't even yeah. remember what he said right. to look for. Bottle? Lemon. This is a bottle of castor oil. Never to be consumed with blueberry pies. Never to be consumed with blueberry pies? What a weird thing to say. Take it with me. Grab everything. Yeah, I decided that this is something... Um, huh, a woman's shadow is on the Y. Wall! Oh, yeah, there is! You know why? Because there's a... Uh, there's a mannequin or something in the foreground on the left side of the uh, screen. But no, I, I decided to um, actually do this properly. I mean, like, like I, I, this is something I want to do. Um, stained chef's uniform, surely sent down here for cleaning. I'm thinking about possibly in the near future cutting back one of my days at work because um, I've just got, it's so, it's so hard on my body. Um, I mentioned before that I was a massage therapist. <coughs> There's a key inside! Sweet! It's really, really hard on my body, and I'm, I'm a very, very empathetic person. So I put a lot of heart and soul into what I do. I think I saw the kitchen door into dining, okay. Which means that sometimes I give too much of myself, I put more strain and more exertion on my body than I should. Whoa! Oh my god, are you saying this shit? <laughs> oh my god! Trapdoor! Holy shit! I wouldn't even notice it if it wasn't for the light coming through the gap. Holy shit! The shadow came alive, dudes! Oh my god! Dude, that's trippy! Oh, I love this. I love this. We're getting dark. Come on. Hit me with it. Give me the best you've got, Mikowski. Huh. Gas supply switch. This seems to be the hotel's main gas supply switch. Oh! It's currently off. Uh, we'll turn it on, and then it will give gas to the oven. I switched it on. Anyway, so I've had multiple injuries, like, in the last two years to my body where I've had to slow down my, uh, work schedule. I want to look at this. Never to be consumed with blueberry pies. Okay, who is this? Oh, fuck! Whoa. Uh, what's- there's a show that's, like, talking about- what is- uh, See, the joke is ruined now because I couldn't think of it on the spot. Uh, what is it called? Uh, botched? Botched. This is definitely a botched candidate. Uh, botched is a TV show that's about really fucked up uh, cosmetic surgeries. Do I know this person? No, that's impossible. Oh shit, is it his little brother? Is it like an adult version of his little brother that still has all the wounds from being exploded? Skin flap. Oh. Huh. No, I didn't get a chance to look around the room. So anyway, this uh, this job is not gonna the job that I have being a Thanks massage therapist. Thanks for doing therapist, the dishes. Thanks for making dinner. It is nice. Er, isn't gonna be sustainable. I'm just I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried, you know, this whole. Can we just forget about it? I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about. Poor thing. Gosh, so, so the eating disorder really did carry on into her adult life. But now we're Ivy. Oh, huh? what is she gonna see in the mirror? What does her monster look like? Somebody's in the room with me. What is that sound? What? Guitar? They're not in the room with me. Bath looks full. Let's have a bath. Who's done this? It won't budge. Oh, jump scare on the way. I, 
There's nothing. Ah! Oh, fuck. Stupid cats. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, man. Damn it, Lucifer. Oh, now the now the real horse. See, that was like a red herring, that jump scare. But now the real <laughs> jump <laughs> Oh my god! The bath is blood! That's the stuff she hears inside her head. That the toilet's the only way out? No, honey, it's not. Do you notice right here that the door isn't tall enough for her head to fit through? <laughs> and again, it's like a saw. It looks like like a like a steel door. This poor girl. I bet you she's never been overweight in her life too. Maybe it was the father. Oh, Cap'n? <laughs> That's hilarious. Cap'n says, this sounds weird, but I haven't heard that scream in a long time. <laughs> he was the one she said could fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Uh, she said the father could fuck off. Oh. I hate to see this kind of self-loathing in a person. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. Jeez. This brain looks so fresh. Is this the item I was asked to fetch I from the cellar? I bet my last cigarette that it is. Alright, well, I'm sure we should put it in here. The brain will certainly fit inside, but I need to figure out how to keep it fresh first. Formaldehyde! Alright, let's find some formaldehyde. Look, come on, get out, get out of it. Oh, castor oil? I don't even know what castor oil is, guys. Why wouldn't it be castor oil? I don't know what it's for, but I assume it can be used for... I mean, why else would I have it? Nope, oh, okay. You know what? Get out, of, get out of it. Get out of it. I can't leave this screen! I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way. Leave. Derp. Jesus. I'm such an idiot. Shelves. Examine. What's up here? All these bottles, are they poison? My god. You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay, I can do this, but I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? <gasps> I never ate my second burrito. Well, I 
an option to just leave. The red pill or the blue pill? Um... I don't need a whole bottle of this stuff. I just... Just enough for a single injection. What? Syringe? Use? I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death. But which one? Um... I'd say blue. It's time for your medicine, my girl. I don't know if we're actually gonna give it to her, but it's best to have it on hand, I think. Okay, we need to turn this on. Did I already? I've switched it off now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I imagine this is the way we're gonna kill the remaining, or the, the second, sorry, the second Sophie is by I've switched it on. carbon monoxide in her. A superpower or a million dollars? Um, I don't know. Probably. I don't know. What was it about this? Can't turn the lights back on? Yeah, the music does feel out of out of place. I'm not sure if I like it. So I need to put something in. I need to put something in the tank to get the. What do you think is next? Yeah, I don't like it. Come on, go away. What should we do next? Should we give the injection to the first Sophie? And then kill the second Sophie with the with the gas? Or sh Um, maybe let's talk to the doctor. You have a key to the kitchen, so- Aha! Key to the kitchen! Thank you, Sin! You've saved me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the way. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Huh, cold burrito. Cold burrito still already. Hey, get out of here. Yeah, that scene with uh, Ivy. That's. And we're in. And we have castor oil, which I imagine goes in the sink. That's one big blender. Why would I switch it on? There's nothing in it. No point switching on when it's empty. Exactly, you're a clever boy, Joe. Mm -hmm. Cooking pot, examine. It's empty. Turn on the hob. What is a hob? Is that the stove? Pig, examine. Rotten pig. Nice. Yeah, he's got a... Oh, Jesus. Pig has been dead for a long time. No, and it's just hanging out in its eye socket. Nom, 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 nom. You feel like there's a Sophie here, too? That sounds like actually a pretty reasonable thing to expect. Freezer. Schmeg! I don't like this music. I don't feel like it's... I think it's dead, or it's just sleeping. I don't know how long it can sleep... Uh, I don't know how long it would be able to survive in that position with all the blood. I know you're just a uh, pig, but I want to tell you this. You matter. It's all your fault. Can we swap places? Sup? Or fuck you. You. Or sorry, dude. Or I screwed up, man. Or not forget it. I'm just going to say sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Why can't I mess with this? And what was the point of it? Of that? <sighs> Not here. Okay, thank goodness. I just thought I'd try. Oh, freezer! Yeah. One of the few freezers in here that aren't completely frozen shut. Oh, I, I imagine that's all ice around us. One of the few freezers in here that... 
frozen solid. Can't break it with my hands. All right. Now we're going to put that ice pick to work. And it's going to contaminate it so bad. Yes. Ice to preserve the fresh brains. Even though... Um, you shouldn't put it directly on ice because it damages the... It's going to start damaging and killing the cells. It's too cold. Uh, take us. Ugh. Fill the bowl with ice. Sweet! Oh, uh, nope. Not Back up. Icy! I guess that's all that really needed to be said. <laughs> Let's turn the hob on. There's nothing in the pot. It would just I would I would just burn it. Um, do I have anything to cook in it? No. Wait, casserole maybe? I could try and use it for frying, but I don't really know what to cook. Oh hey! I was I was spot on actually for a minute. Tell my wife that I had another wife. Oh, the zombies have invaded the chat, Rose. <laughs> All right, so we're going up to floor two. Back to the doctor to give him the brain to try to save the lady he's working on. Uh, and hopefully find a way to not have to kill the Sophies. I mean, I'm wickedly curious to like find out what happens if you do. But, I mean, not that I want to, but just incredibly curious what happens if you do. Curious. Mm, it's not this one, is it? Shit. Yes, it is. 203. If there isn't a way, that would be awesome. If there, if there isn't a way, I'll tell them all. Okay, silly. Okay, that's a rib cage. That is maybe a liver. That is uh, the teeth. But why? No, wait. Maybe not liver. What is that? I don't know. It looks like it could Can be. Can you long. hear that? Long it's the up. ticking of the clock. Now oh, shut your face. Oh, I need to put the. I need to put the brain in it, guys. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, you failed me. You're supposed to make up for all my inadequacies. I am so ready to get rid of this music. Um, first floor. Yeah, can't deliver a brain if you don't have it with you. I mean, you could give him one, uh, the one in your head. That might solve all my problems. Just substitute my brain for a dead brain. Oh man. Everything gets bad. <laughs> Captain says, uh. Oh no, Ark says. Ark says, I have failed, Rose. Now I must commit sodu Soduku? Soduku? You mean Sepuku? What is it? Sepuku? Sepuku, yeah. Sepuku. I'm sure that was an intentional typo. Music started when you filled the syringe with poison. Dig that poison syringe music, yo. Shit. What if I mix them? Yeah! I can do this later. The girl, she asked me to return as soon as I got the poison. <gasps> no! Just by taking it, I've sealed my, my fate? No! Oh, what the... I've sealed my fate just by taking a syringe of it. That's not cool. I feel betrayed. I feel misled. I feel all kinds of things. Fuck. That's not cool. Well, all right. So if you even take a syringe, then you've made you make the you make the decision to uh to kill the the first girl, the first Sophie. Such a complicated whirlwind of emotions. <laughs> Crap, where was the first Sophie? In here? Yeah. Shit, I don't- I, I wanted to avoid this though. 
That's not fair. That shouldn't have been the defining moment of whether you're going to kill the little girl or not. Just by picking up a syringe means... I should just give her what she asked for. That's too late now. Or... Wait. Well, it's too late to always... It's too late to save it, really. Save slot for it. I mean, this now that I can't go back. Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But... Will it... Huh? I don't know, honey. No, you won't feel a thing. I don't really know. I hope not. What does it matter? You'll be dead soon enough. If she, if we're giving if we're crediting her with the capacity to make this decision for herself, I don't I think it's fair that we can be honest with her too. I mean, why try to shelter her now? She seems like a little 9-year-old, really but know. I hope not. What if this game you plays don't off know? of your oh, Are you sure it Are you even sure it's going to kill me? No. No, I don't. There was poison written on the bottle. It's a picture of a skull. There was poison written on the bottle. And a picture of a skull. You can't turn okay. into a scared little girl now. That sounds about right, I guess. But I'm gonna ask you one last favor. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Please! I'm begging you! <sighs> she doesn't sound too sure about whether she wants to die after all. Well, the guy did say, I bet one of these would kill someone when you decide to fill the syringe. Ark says say no, Sin says no. She's begging me, guys! Sorry. Oh, fuck it. I'm already doomed anyway. I'm Give sorry I let you down. Chat. <laughs> I did say it. <laughs> I did say first. That seemed... That seemed not too bad. Didn't last too long, you know? Now her body's gone, Jesus. I wonder what would happen with the red one. See, I was wondering if they did a kind of reverse psychology on us and since, like, like Jill basically explained, the red, people associate with the color red like pain and violence and blood and all that stuff. And then the blue one is associated with good things. So I wonder if they did a little reverse psychology on us there where the if you choose the blue one hoping that it's nicer, it's actually worse. And the red one actually is a little bit more merciful. Body's gone. I knew she wasn't real. But what's this dress still doing here? I mean, this is this is the path we've chosen now. I've chosen this is the path that I've chosen. Wait, dress. It's almost clean. Nope. Where? No thanks. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go up to the uh, the third. Is it third floor now? Third floor. Third floor. Third. Floor. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. No. We gotta deliver the brain. Okay. Things to do. Ah, Joe can't become Josephine. No, it doesn't look like it. At least not right now. We gotta deliver the brain. Nope. Nope, nope. And then we gotta go up, and then we got to uh, turn on the gas stove so that we can asphyxiate the other larger mutilated Toki. Poor Toki. I don't know, I can't I can't help but keep thinking that like Sophie's supposed to be like kind of 
have something to do with uh Can you hear that? Oh shit the hell up. Have something to do with Ivy. Like be very related to Ivy. Did I not get the Don't you say anything. Don't you say anything, chat. God damn it, chat. Don't you say it. Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Sin tried to save me there. See? See? Sin's the only one looking out. He tried to save me, Sin. I appreciate it. He tried to remind me to get the brain. Uh, okay, panel, uh, brain is on the, uh, what floor was it on? What floor was it on? What floor? No, 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 it was in the cellar. Shit. Um, I will be streaming more of this tomorrow, by the way. I guess we, uh, Ark, Ark, I have to give Ark credit for this. He says, I guess we know where the brains in this stream is. <laughs> Which is amazing. I don't know if he did that by coincidence, but I absolutely love puns. I absolutely love puns. They're just seriously <laughs> hilarious to me. Stairs? Go down. Okay. Ba Badance. Badunch. Well played, sir. Okay. Uh, no! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just making sure Joe gets in all his cardio for the day, okay? I'm looking out for his cardiovascular health, all right? Okay. No, but I loved that scenario. I like I I was I was like uncomfortably afraid when that scenario was go when that scene was going on with Ivy. I was just like I felt very uncomfortable like ah I don't want to be here. I feel a little bit sick. I feel like ah, I don't want this to be happening. But then afterwards, I just felt really like, God, that was amazingly well done. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be. Okay. Okay, we're going for a walk. <laughs> Excuse me while I walk my brain. Gas switch is still on. Uh, well, I'll be playing RE7 for a friend, but I will absolutely catch the stream. Sweet! I'm available tomorrow. Yay! And then Ark says, I'll be home too, so expect me there. Awesome! Oh my gosh! Oh, and I'm now able to give people VIP status, and once I figure out how to do that, I have a couple people in mind. <gasps> okay, so which floor? I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters if I go to ground floor or first floor. I wish there was a run, or a faster walk, at least. What floor? Uh, second. The doctor. The doctors. The doctor! I think I'm probably gonna- I'm probably gonna end the stream in a little bit, shortly. This is- I mean, like, I kinda wanna keep playing, but this is a really, really long stream. We've been going two and a half hours. Two hours and 26 minutes. And I probably should do some other stuff, like around the house or spend time with my boyfriend. Okay. Ah, I see you have it. I do have it. Quick, give it to me. Give it to me, boy. Boy? Who you calling boy? Yeah, well, here goes nothing. But first, I want to be pretty. Ah. <laughs> Dr. Z. Examine. He's a doctor. I think he'd rather examine me. What is it? I'm busy. Your brain. Is this what you... Sorry, didn't mean to cut that off. One fresh human brain. Jeez. What else could I want? Yes. <laughs> now Shit. we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Chat says, whoa, or that's a thirsty doctor. A Joe has a wife, sir. So shut up and do it already. You can't just plant a dead brain inside her head. 
Fingers crossed, Doc. I think I just... Fingers crossed, Doc. Like... This has nothing to do with luck, mind you. I am certain my calculations were correct. Now it's just a matter of following a correct procedure. All but right. since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here... Not surprised. Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Oh, man. I'm so out of my league with what the hell is going on here that... Put some elbow grease into it, boy! <laughs> That's better. And a little push. Hmm, maybe this way. It's okay, it's just the bowl. <laughs> we can clean it up later. Captain says now he just Almost needs to wait for a lightning strike. got it. Just a tiny bit more. Get loose. It's in! We've done it, boy! So we haven't seen who he's working on. So this is how you do brain transplants. I'm not sure. Uh, now I'm sure. You really are mad. I'm beginning to wish I'd never met you. <laughs> uh, well, he's mad in the in the cat. Now lane. I'm sure. You really are mad. You keep saying that, yet you held that woman's head exactly like I asked. He has a point. What does that say about you to follow the instructions of a madman? <laughs> I. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't care either way. Let's focus on our task. Now that everything is ready, it is time for the machine. <laughs> the machine? Yes, we oh will need to God. kick some life into this young lady. She's still <laughs> very much dead. Have you forgotten? Ah, uh, you're so full of crap. I haven't really been listening. <laughs> no, I haven't forgotten. Good. Because we have no more brains to spare, boy. <laughs> I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can yeah. you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. Uh, That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. The guy said, when the guy said we use the machine, then uh, Sin says, are they going to rage against it? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love that kind of humor. It's my favorite kind of humor. Watch this be a trap? Yeah, really? Except I do see the chords going. You were very right, Captain. Like, <laughs> they really just, it's alive! It lives. I no. don't understand. This is going to be Zelman's... Have we run out of power? Zelman's monster here. Hmm. It's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. Oh, I don't fucking believe you. You're getting the fuck out of here, aren't you? <laughs> and then we go... Oh, my goodness. But hey, didn't I call it earlier when um, when Ivy was having her, her scene... And I was like, oh yeah, that was like the the cat. The cat was like a fake jump scare. And then once you're like, oh, <laughs> it was only a cat. And then something truly terrifying just like comes out of the mirror at you. And what am I supposed to do? Of course it didn't work. You're a madman. Don't strain your spine while you're investigating your stupid... Don't strain your spine while you investigate your stupid fuse. <laughs> Venom? Will he sit? Okay, he still doesn't want to sit. We're going to go over and it's actually going to come to life. Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh. Wait. Oh. Hmm, okay. All right, how about we try to leave and then right as we try to leave, it's going to cause a stir. Hello? Ma? Where? What is... Hello? Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's naked. okay. I'm not gonna hurry you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Okay. How about we give this to her? Here. Put this on. <laughs> is 
she's like, why? A uh, wedding dress? Did you have that? What's wrong with it? Wait a minute, it wasn't a wedding dress before. What's wrong with it? Yep, you'll be the bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> I'm sorry, all the shops are closed. What's wrong with it? It's, uh... Yeah. It's a wedding dress? But it will cover you up and keep you warm, right? Technically, it's just so freaking cringeworthy. <laughs> but, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Okay. It's a trap! Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife to be to get this dress? <laughs> uh, kinda. You can't <laughs> kinda butcher somebody. What are you? An expert at butchering? No. A normal sane person? Ha. I don't think so. You had you? a dead brain implanted into your skull. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. How do I look? You look very nice. Different than I expected. Beautiful. Like a zombie in a wedding dress. Like a gypsy princess. You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Good. Yeah. You look good. I'm disappointed. I'll go reanimate somebody else now. <laughs> I think this is a joke. I'm disappointed. I'll go reanimate somebody else now. Well, tough luck, Mr. Fussy. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find lots of pretty dead girls just lying around waiting for you. But for now, you're kind of stuck with me, I'm afraid. Is that all right? Is it that much of an inconvenience? You might not have the looks, but at least you've got the brains. And how do you know? I put it inside your head with my own hands. <laughs> Don't be disgusting. <laughs> I did. Whatever. <laughs> Fine. You want to know how you look? Yes. But no sugar coating. You look. You are right. You look awful. You look very nice. Different than I expected. Beautiful. Like a zombie. We're not going to go hitting on some random person. Um. Jesus. Like a zombie in a wedding dress? You know. A bride of Frankenstein? Okay. <laughs> no. First of all, I'm nobody's bride, okay? And secondly... Watch who you're calling a zombie. Because I ain't no freaking zombie, alright? Are you a zombie? Would you like me to call you a zombie? Well, you were dead. Hi. Well, it's too late now. Don't bother with apologies. But let's start again. How do I look? Really? Wow! Wow! They're really making me, like... You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Was it a really hot, totally out of your league supermodel friend? Huh? Just kidding. Wouldn't want you to think I'm some big headed, looks obsessed, and really shallow, deep inside person. Huh? To think about it, I'm probably somewhere in between. What are you talking about? I'm yeah. just saying, you'll have to try a bit harder. I want an honest opinion. I'm not gonna flirt How do I with look? you, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. What do you think, chat? Just go with the one you want them to say the pet uh but i've been genuine like like those have been what i wanted to respond the rest of these are like beautiful like a gypsy princess like these kind of these could come off as flirting and he's married you were right you look awful um uh let's just say you look very nice you look very nice ah thank you it's not really my color and it's a bit tight around the waist. It's because it was on a nine-year-old. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake <laughs> up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Friends own her hard, right? That's what I tried to do. Don't, don't leave room for recovery. Do you at least remember your name? What are you going to do? How did you die? Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, oops, you could be anyone, really. Yeah. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Probably. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Martha, Dorothy, Gladys. No, it was Agnes. 
Your name is Agnes. Damn right it is. Cool. So we do know each other then. Nope. Not really. <laughs> the guy who runs this place told me your name. And how did he know? Apparently it was embroidered on your knickers. <laughs> are knickers socks or are they underwear? He didn't really go into details. Apparently it was embroidered on your knickers. So he took them. Oh my god. Just wait till I get him. <laughs> Freaking creep stealing ladies' panties. Agnes will remember this. Uh, how did you how die? How did you die? I can't remember, or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both, or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not. I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. Whatever, I like brought you back to life. Can you trust anyone else more? Well, I wonder I wonder if you can tr that's probably wrong. You probably couldn't trust anyone less if they bring you back to life. You shouldn't trust them. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? Are you you're really fishing. You really are. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Uh, and what if I am the big bad wolf? Then I guess you'll find that I'm the kind of girl who builds her houses out of bricks. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. What? Of course. Now it all makes sense. You're lying. It does? You're making this I'm up. I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you! A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I... came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff, that was the only thing I had on me. So, I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. <laughs> of course I've still got it, but since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Of course you did. Oh. You're so thirsty, okay. bitch. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. Is that okay? Jesus. Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? Ah! Oh, shit, shit. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Don't leave her! Oh, she sees it. She just hasn't reacted. What the? Give me something to fight with. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, and he... I guess resurrection makes you horny, said Captain. Ah, uh, continue as Joe or continue as Agnes? Shit, did I mess up? Agnes McThirsty. Uh, I don't. E we don't even know who Agnes is. We're gonna continue as Joe. Did I really seriously mess up? I don't know what. Ha do you think? Do you think I'm pretty? I think you're beautiful. How about you take this t-shirt off and we'll have a look. Okay, well that's a good way to really re reflect. She's about the prettiest girl that ever walked this earth. You, you're more like a hideous, slimy creature from the swamp. You're just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. Yeah. And that's what I thought when I first saw you. That was five years ago. I'm 29 now. You're still just as beautiful as you were then. Ah, oh, of course you would say that now. I mean it. No, I know you. You're just saying that because you're hoping to get laid again. That's all. Ah, oh, damn, you can see right through me. I'm not hoping to get laid. I'm hoping to make love to you. Oh, jeez. I mean, I guess that's kind of better, but... I'm saying it because I love you.
understand. Oh, not that shit again. How horrible. Try me. It's stupid. We're making Joe a good I person. I feel like such an idiot. I hate myself. We're gonna make him a good husband, guys. There, all the time. This inner voice trying to change who I am. I try to stop it. I try. But it always comes back. And I do it again. And again. She thinks she's talking about the voice that was in the mirror. You can talk about it to me. You can talk to me about it. I see. It's this self-conscious, I look too fat business again. Wow, you can be a real douche in this game if you choose to be. You can talk to me about it. I... I can't. Really. It doesn't matter. Just worrying about nothing, I guess. You know what I'm like. I do. And I can see there's something you're not telling me. You will. You're not gonna like this. Let's just leave it. I'm here for you, Ivy. Just say what it is. I'm here for you, Ivy. Just say what it is. Okay. I've been... making myself sick. What? And... I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but... It's so easy. Just stick fingers down my throat so I can look in the mirror again and like what I see. But why? Because I'm a woman. I want to be beautiful again, Joe. You are beautiful. Thanks. Has someone said something mean to you again? You know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes. But it's... Everywhere, Joe. Those women on TV and in the magazine. Why can't I be like them? But you're not even fat. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. Promise me you'll never do it again. That's why I've told you. So I could stop. I'll help you. You'll just have to. Talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? I am, but I'm glad you told me. No, I love you, Ivy. Yeah, you should definitely, in situations like this, say no. Holy shit. Yeah, don't be mad at somebody for... Do I have my... I have my chat crew in here right now, so I got my I got my emotional support here, you guys, support me. So I'll just say I went through depression a um, handful of like several years ago, a long time ago. Uh, I don't anymore, but I went through some really, really severe, serious depression and I was with somebody and um, whenever I told them what was going through my head, my thoughts and my feelings, why I was depressed, the, the things that like I was saying about myself in my own mind but not purposely. It was like a voice telling me these things um, that would just tear, tear, tear me down. And uh, it was some pretty serious depression that I dealt with. So I ended up seeing a doctor and I needed to see a doctor to, um, to get help with it. But the person I was with at the time, um, whenever I would tell them what my thoughts were, how I was feeling, he would get mad. Yeah, he would actually get mad. And it made me feel like I shouldn't, I couldn't talk to him about it. And so that's really awful. Don't be like that, guys, because if somebody's coming to you for something really difficult that they're struggling with, the last thing you need to do is make it about yourself. No. I love you, Ivy. I could never be mad at you. Hey, we should get a cat. <laughs> I like this reaction. We should totally get a cat. I thought you hated cats. What? I never said that. It's a little unexpected, hmm. but okay. A cat. Why the hell not? 
Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. It will be black as night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. And it will stink. And purr. And scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel so. Aw, oh, that sounds Poor really cat. sweet. What will we name him? Him? Hmm. See, he ends up going with Lucifer. Uh, let's call him Midnight. Midnight? Hmm. We're getting close. But that's not it. Shadow? I don't Shadow. like the name Lucifer not for a cat. For a cat. A horse, maybe. Tiger. Shit, she's gonna want it to be. Mr. Fluffy? Oh, come <laughs> on. Alright, fine. Lucifer. 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 Hmm. Yes. That's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like it. So that's settled then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome! Yeah. I love you. This is how you work things out in a relationship, guys. Like. No. Oh shit. This is not fucking happening. Um. Okay. We're going to save and end it here, guys. Reading through chat. Uh, I appreciate your guys' support. Thanks. We appreciate it. Um, yes, I'm doing much better. I'm doing much, 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 much better. So it's good. But uh, I, think, I think in the long run, it's made me very more empathetic to other people's struggles and whatnot. So I did learn something from it. I feel like every time something hard happens, uh, or every time something kind of bad happens, you get something from it. You either get empathy because now you know how it feels if you come across somebody going through the same thing. Um, whenever I was injured, uh, when I was like injured from my job, I learned what it felt like to have, oh, pain here or pain here. And when I ran across cl clients that, had the same problem that they experienced right then and they would describe their pain for me or what it felt like I knew exactly what it felt like and then I knew what to do to make it feel better too so it made me a better therapist myself so uh, anyway I, I I'm gonna <laughs> holy shit we did this for like three hours okay well I'm gonna sign off for tonight thank you you guys uh, especially everybody who came in tonight sin Cap'n, Ark um, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Oh, it was, uh, um, uh, Mr. Morphite. I'm just gonna call him Mr. Morphy, Morphite. Thank you for coming and joining me today. Expect me again on tomorrow, and we're gonna try to get the hell out of this coffin. <laughs>